We are just 48 hours away from the launch of Fort Vortex 2. It's by far the biggest and most ambitious tornado hunt ever. Come this Sunday, the Weather Channel will be teaming up with some of the world's top severe weather experts to accomplish this goal, to better understand why and when tornadoes form and increase the warning time before a tornado strikes. This unprecedented research project involves more than 80 scientists and dozens of research vehicles. Joining us now from Norman, Oklahoma is Dr. Josh Werman, President of the Center for Severe Weather Research and one of the leaders in this study. Dr. Werman, thank you so much for joining us. First up, I'm sure you're very excited about the next five weeks and its overall mission. Yes, good morning. We are in our last minute preparations for this project. Behind me is the newest Doppler on wheels and we are rushing it to completion. We just installed a dozen new Lenovo computers, new radar equipment, and we need it ready in 48 hours. Dr. Roman, I understand you helped invent that Doppler on wheels. Explain to us how it works and, and how you think this will revolutionize the way we depict tornadoes and give out those warnings. Mobile Doppler radars are the biggest advance and they're the backbone of Vortex 2. We have 10 mobile Doppler radars like this down behind me that can map out in three dimensions the winds all through the tornadoes and the tornadic storms. They're aided by lots of other instrumentation. We have 70 or 80 other instruments, such as these tornado pods, where we can measure the winds right at the surface where the radars can't see, temperature, relative humidity, and then download it onto think pads like this one. And we're trying to collect a multi-dimensional, multi-parameter picture of the tornadoes like we've never seen before. And Dr. Roman, I understand we have lots of HD cameras attached to all the equipment out there. Explain how we hope to get pictures of tornadoes and present them live on the air. Well, attached to this pod here are Weather Channel cameras. And when we deploy this pod in front of a tornado, as we're collecting temperature and wind data, we'll also be watching the tornado overtake the pod. And we hope they're hardened enough to survive the tornado inside. And we'll be able to see spectacular imagery of just exactly how that tornado caused the measurements that we just collected. All right, I'm sure we're very excited, but there are some challenges that go along with this mission. Are you and your colleagues concerned about your overall safety? Safety is our biggest concern. We're taking more scientists and crew and students out in the field than ever before. We have state-of-the-art equipment. We have Doppler on wheels and other mobile radars that can see exactly where the tornado is, how strong it is, how fast it's moving. We have pretty much all the tornado scientists, major tornado scientists in the world participating in this project. We'll keep ourselves safe. All right, you better. <laughs> Dr. Werman, thank you so much for joining us for that live report. We're very excited about this project and stay with us for continuing coverage of Vortex 2. Again, we'll be launching that project coming up this Sunday.